Hey, what's up guys? ELP Modeling here, and today we're looking at a cool little Suzuki Jimny Custom by Fujimi. So we'll start off with your decals. For a basic kit, you do get plenty of decals, and there's two options of dials. You get some yellow Kai plates and then some normal white ones, or you could finish it off with the Jimny ones. A few little Jimny decals for the rear, and you've got a little turbo one as well, which is cool. And then the various little 9, 10, 11, and 12 ones. So let's take a look what is in the box. Now... Can somebody tell me what is so special about this kit, or more so, the earlier version of the kit? Feel free to leave a comment, I'd be interested to know. Now, there is a set of window masks. Well, I say window masks, they're for the rear canvas roof area. And we've got your instructions, all the parts are used, and it is an extremely simple and fantastic kit. So, we'll start off with your clear parts. Now, for the most part, this is sort of like a snap fit kit. But this uh, windscreen does need a little bit of jigging to get in right. But you've got your rear lights there, front lights on both sides, and then your front lights. Well, this, these are like the front and rear, you know, but they're on either side. And then this is your rear canvas roof, which is fantastic. Masking bits go on the outside, of course, and then you can spray the outside in whichever colour you want. So let's take a look at this really cool body. I love this kit. I really do. It's fantastic. I even think this looks cool. If you could replace this with rod, that would look epic. But there you have it. There's, Like I said, for, for a snap kit, there's some fantastic detailing on this. I think my only complaint would be that the Suzuki could be a little bit more pronounced on the grill. But that's not the end of the world. Now... You could add some detail to this. You could fill those holes in that the headlights sort of pop into and then snip the bits off the actual clear parts and then glue it in with the usual glue that you use and it would add a little bit of realism to it. Same with these lower portions as well, your indicators. Now the panel lines aren't too bad either. They're non-existent on the bonnet part, which is a shame, so you'll have to add them on that. And again... All the same bits on the other side. That's where your fuel cap goes. Molded in sort of side running lights there. And again, you could do the realism thing with the back as well. Now, when I built uh, my last one, I took this spare wheel holder off and then just sanded it over and, you know, smoothed it. I just didn't fancy one on the back. But, you know, the options there to have a spare one on the back. Yeah, it's really nice. Molded in number plate holder. That's great stuff. Really cool little body, that is. Now, onto your first sprue. We've got some funky-looking seats that are in two parts, which, again, are fantastic. It's lovely to get seats in two parts. The chassis on this is wonderful. So many different options you can do on this. Plenty of detail and opportunities as well. We've got part of your rear sort of roll bar thingy, whatever it's called. You've got the steering arm, side mirrors window wipers, fuel cap, and then the main part of the roll bar. Rear bench area, a little bit shiny, a couple of little dips in there, so I may need some putty. I didn't fit that either to mine. I just went for the two-door look. Then we've got your steering wheel, differential, and then your gear shifter. Now onto a little random piece that just sort of decided to break away from the pack. We've got your dashboard, again, which is fantastic for the, you know, the fact that it is essentially a snap kit pedals, lovely details on there, and then a set of your window wipers, which I will actually uh, make a point of. They've got the little tabs there for you to glue them in, but there are no holes to actually insert them to. There are little marks of where you need to drill, but all I did was my, with mine was snip the back of the wipers off and then use the smallest amount of double-sided tape. It still works, and you can actually position them perfectly then. You don't have to worry about glue drying or you know ruining the paint or anything, but Let's take a look at the final sprue before I show you the gorgeous wheels that are included. Here is your chassis slash interior tub. Again, nothing is moulded in. I did add a little fuel fil um, sorry, oil filter at the bottom there, just with a piece of thick styrene rod and then stuck it in a drill and curved it off at the end with some sandpaper. And then we have your leaf spring suspension and differentials and transfer box. Sort of, end, uh, sorry, chassis sort of reinforcement the front number plate and then your exhaust voila really cool stuff there's no actual 
pipe on the end of this. It's just sort of, you know, flat, which isn't which isn't great. It's probably a bit of a letdown. But now the wheels that are included with a set of poly caps that wanted to join the party are these gorgeous chrome six uh, six spoke six lug wheels. Again, great detail, but they are a little bit. They're so chrome I can't show you properly, but they're really cool. I'm liking those a lot. Fantastic. I've put some tires on to show you the sort of effect you get with them. All female fitment. And I suppose one letdown with the kit, and it will bring me on to showing you what's actually left in the box. We've got two tyres left there. You get, of course, two rods with this. They're now covered up with the tyres, but two rods and many, cent uh, many poly caps. That, of course, means that the wheels don't steer which goes with it being a snap kit, but it would have been nice if you know you could steer the wheels. But if you want my advice, just build the kit out of the box. It's so much fun. It's a great little car as well when it's built. Let me know what you think then, guys. I will see you on social media, Instagram, Facebook, and on the web, of course. I hope you had a good weekend, and I hope you have an even better week ahead. I'll see you in the up-and-coming videos, guys. Take it easy. Bye-bye.